This is the BG15 certified grade 2 safe from Wertheim of Austria. Now this safe is very popular with private clients. There is a smaller version in the BG series, the BG10, but the BG15 gives you a lot more space plus it has a number of alarm integration features which I'll go into in a second. Now the safe itself is 565 millimeters high, 450 wide and 442 deep so it's quite slim and tall. Now the safe here is on top of a plinth that we're using for demonstration purposes but that plinth is actually a certified grade 2 plinth so if you had mobility issues and let's say you wanted the safe to be this height what we can do is we can deliver it with this plinth the plinth is bolted to the floor to 50 kilonewtons and then the safe is bolted to the plinth and the entire installation will still be a grade 2 installation. Now the lock on the front is the Titan direct drive lock from Sergeant Greenleaf. We really like this lock because it's EMP resistant and it's very easy to connect to an alarm module which is optional and hook back to an alarm system for monitoring of the safe. Now to open the safe, I'm just putting in the default code into the lock I turn the outer ring on the lock, that's what we mean by a direct drive lock. We turn the handle and open up. Now you can see um, the massive steel bolts with this Vertime Grade 2 safe. This is a signature of Vertime. They build everything really to last. At the back of the safe we have a full length rebate that locks in behind the frame of the safe. At the top of the door we have alarm monitoring cutouts. There's a cutout here for a contact, an alarm contact, which could monitor when the door is open and when the door is closed. And if I open the door a bit more, you can see here we have a connector for a door loop. So you can put an alarm door loop there and it would go back into the safe. And there's an alarm cable channel that brings it out the back of the safe. So when you have the door of the safe closed, you would see no evidence that an alarm has been connected to the safe. Okay? Now, finally, this is something we always look for on a certified safe. Here we have a VDS certification plate and we have an ECBS certification plate. Sometimes there could be one or two. In this case, um, this particular safe is actually certified by three different bodies. But in this case, we have two plates. VDS and ECBS, they're both accredited certifiers. The important thing, of course, when you're looking for an accredited certification is to make sure that the certifier is accredited. So you will usually see an ISO 17065 accreditation on the label. If there is no ISO 17065 accreditation or it's a sticker or something like that, you're not looking at a certification plate, particularly if it's a manufacturer's label. I mean, here's a manufacturer's label here. That's not the certification. These are, okay? So finally, to lock up, you retract your bolts, relock the bolts, and then just turn the outer ring of the keypad to the locked position, and it's all locked up.